What is up guys and welcome back to our Hull City career mode, episode number 2 and today we've got the opening games of the season, we've got we've got 3 games playing against, uh, obviously our first one is against Leicester, then Swansea and Man U, we're also going to be simming a uh, Capital One Cup game, but um, first up as well, um, obviously last episode there was loads of transfers, you know, I signed basically every player that I wanted to sign, so you know, this episode's not going to be kind of a, with a lot of transfers, I mean I ain't really got any you know, money left really, because I spent it all, so I'm kind of hoping to sell a few players this episode, and by obviously selling the players, that will help me generate more money, so I can buy some more players next episode, which will be deadline day, but anyway, um, what I want to talk, what I want, what I want to talk about <laughs> with you today, figuring out, I've got that out just about, is, um, you know, I ain't uploaded in a week, now, there is kind of a reason for that, so obviously last Wednesday, um, I wasn't going to upload anyway, because I didn't have a video ready for you guys, because obviously FIFA 17 went out to the Thursday, and then, obviously, you guys probably know if you watch my videos here and there that I am at uni at the moment. You know, I've moved to a uni in Wembley, but, you know, I wasn't happy with my course, so I actually moved to a different one. Well, not a different one, it's the same one, but just a different campus. So I'm now in Manchester at the Etihad. Um, that's where, obviously, the campus is like. I was at Wembley Stadium last time, and I'm at the Etihad now. I will be doing football coaching and management, that's my course now. But, um, yeah, it's just been quite a hectic week, really. You know, I've been moving. I sorted it all out on Thursday, finally, because I tried to be sorted out for two weeks. And, you know, just no one's really helped me with anything until Thursday. And then, obviously, I moved Friday. Um, so I couldn't get a video out, out then anyway, because I was, like, travelling all day. And then, also, you know... Uh, Monday and uh, and Tuesday I were kind of moving in so you know I, I had the weekend to post videos up and I just thought you know let me just relax I'm back at home now um, you know um, I'm sorry obviously I didn't get any videos out but you know obviously I've got a lot kind of planned and a lot backtracked now so you know there will be a video out basically every day um, since now hopefully but anyway on to the episode now we actually um, got a draw against Leicester which I was quite happy with we've got the 1-1 draw they obviously scored first with Musa Musa I'm not kidding you he's just terrorised my defence he's such a good player on this game if well obviously I ain't used him but you know playing against him he was brilliant you know their best player Leicester and um, obviously I'm still getting used to the mechanics and the gameplay really you know I ain't played a lot of FIFA 17 still um, these are my f like my only few first games so you know I'm, I'm, I'm getting better I'm getting better hopefully you know pick up a few results here and there but um, obviously to get a draw against Leicester I'll take that obviously um, we won them in real life but, you know, I only could get a draw against them because, you know, real life obviously in FIFA and the real life in this game is quite different. But, yeah, obviously, as you see, first half, you know, it was quite good. I thought, you know, we we both probably deserved a goal. Like, maybe me a bit more, you know, I had a few more chances than them, but they were still pressuring me, still wanting to score. But, as you see, second half, there wasn't a lot happening whatsoever. But the first thing that did happen, we scored a goal and it actually put us 1-0 up. Jake Livermore, again... Again, he scored in the first game against Leicester, he's just scored now, and, you know, he might be my top goal scorer soon, because, you know, it's a great play. It, somehow, Swansea's defence just, you know, opened up. I don't know what they were doing, but, you know, I'm not I'm not going to complain, because, you know, Jake Livermore gets his second goal of the season, puts us a 1-0 up in Wales, and, um, you know, I'll tell that every day of the week, and to be fair, I was hoping to win this game, I was expecting to win this game, because, I mean, since that pre-season game, uh, last episode was absolute shambles and you know I've, I've tried getting better since then but you know we'll see how it goes but the main thing is we do win that game but Elmer Harry does get injured for three weeks uh, not the end of the world because obviously I've got Oda Baggio he's 72 rated he's still a good player so we'll just come in for him for a few games and uh, obviously like I said this is the same game we're doing in the Capital One Cup it's like what is it the ETH EFL Cup now English Football League yeah so you know we win Southampton 3-0 I mean last year um, obviously, in Capital One Cup games and FA Cup games, bigger teams um, obviously played their, you know, best 11, basically. But now it seems like, you know, FIFA have structured it like real life. And as you see, Southampton played a lot of second players, uh, you know, their second team, a lot of players in the second team. And, um, you know, I kind of played a stronger team. So, you know, you could say, God, you did well to beat Southampton. But there again, it was against a very poor team. But last game of the episode is going to be against Man United at home, you know, we lost to these 1-0 in real life, 
I hope he's got a bit of revenge on him, you know. Obviously, I don't think they're playing the strongest of teams, but I'll tell you something. I play with Manu on the demo, and uh, Snyderlin is a quality player. If I can sign him on this Korean mode, I will do, because I actually love playing against him, and you might see a bit of magic from him uh, later on. But the main thing was... Man U basically really early went and scored the main man, the main striker, Ibrahimovic, you know, he, he was a bit of an annoying goal to concede, you know, it was just one ball into the box, no one was marking him, that's one thing I hate on FIFA, which his players not marking him, and as you see, his Latin jumps up in the air, obviously finishes the goal off and makes it 1-0, which I was quite annoyed about, but anyway, we had to get a penalty um, by Luke Shaw committing the foul on the old Man United player, Jesse Lingard, obviously, uh, we signed him for 9 million from these this season. And to be fair, it was a penalty. It was a Stonewall penalty. Hernandez to get his first goal of the season. And guys, like I said, I had the best at penalties. So, you know, you'll have to obviously excuse me a bit. But, you know, it just... Romero should be saving that. I don't know where De Gea is, but, you know, Romero was in the goal for this game. But the main thing was, Hernandez in the 21st minute does net that penalty, does make it 1 1, and it actually gave us a bit of momentum. As you see, you know, we come with another chance here. Uh, Romero, after pulling out a great save there, and again from the corner, you know, we've got a header in. Again, uh, you know, it gets saved. Well, I thought I was unlucky not to be in the lead, to be fair, from them two chances. But, you know, Man U, they came again. And, like I said, Snyderlin, a bit of magic from him, finishes it off, makes it 2-1 just before half-time. And, you know, it's annoying to concede a goal that kind of late on in the half. Just, ah, uh, just, what is Jake Livermore doing? I don't know. You know, he just gets under the ball. He jumps up, he doesn't jump up for it. He doesn't go in for the header. And, you know, Morgan Snyderlin does finish it off and makes it 2-1. So, you know, going into half-time, it was 2-1 to them. And, obviously, the momentum, I thought, was with them. But... You know, second half, I thought I'd have to come out. thought I'd have to give a better kind of, um, you know, game. Hopefully, I would have done. But, you know, here it is. You know, we're creating chances. We're trying our best to score. You know, look at this room from Jesse Lingard. And, uh, you know, we finish it off, finally. Jake Livermore who, you know, was at fault for the first, for their second goal, actually finishes off a header. It was quite like the Ebra goal, to be fair, actually. It was just, I thought, a better header and a bit further out. But, you know, Jake Livermore, third goal of the season, third goal in three games, absolutely madness. I don't know how he's scoring all these. He's in centre mid, for God's sake. But, you know, the main thing is, we you know, we come back twice down. Um, we get the draw in the end, so we're still unbeaten so far, which is good. And also, one of our better players, Michael Dawson, I said last episode, I will try to sell him. And in the end, we do. So we're selling for four million, get a bit of cash for him. And like I said, obviously, it helps towards um, buying different players. And also, Claxton, he goes on loan to a team. And then Hernandez, we accept a deal for him. So, you know, he looks like he'll be on his way to Stoke. And um, also, I thought his replacement was Naki Wells. Now, I'll explain that decision in the next episode because obviously you're thinking 76 rated for a 71 rated what are you doing but you know I will explain that in the next episode and also QPR coming for Alex Bruce so we can't offer a deal for him and see if we can ship him off as well but anyway guys hope you enjoyed the episode if you have please hit the like button subscribe if you are new and guys I'll be seeing you later peace